Morning, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. We're here today with my favorite four album runs. This is a series that we're running for the month of August in which I pick four albums that are chronologically in order for the band. So one of them's first, second, third, fourth, not necessarily from the beginning of their discography to the end, the end but somewhere in their discography they run concurrent to each other. And I picked, a, this one was an easy pick to put into the series. Some people are going to say it should be higher. Maybe they're right. It might be higher and at times it probably could have been higher, but to be honest with you, there's, there's very little separating a lot of these albums, like a hair at times. Some of them I absolutely deliberated over for 10 minutes looking at them going, nah, I, I can't put that ahead of that. And then, oh, I have to put that ahead of that. You know, that, that kind of thing was going on. So anyways, the band we've chosen to do today could have easily been a four album run. Uh, sorry, a five album run. They have five albums in their discography. Could have put any of the five, like from, I could have went from second to fifth or first to fourth. I had a choice, knock out the first album or knock out the fifth album. And after deliberation, I decided to knock out the fifth album, even though sometimes I think it's a better album overall. I just think that you can't knock out an album that starts out with Roxanne, right? The Police. Yep, we're doing The Police. Four album run from The Police. Um, this is... A great debut album. I think it's a great debut album. Is it as good as Hart's debut album? I don't know. It's not. I, I like the Hart one better, but this is certainly a good debut album. Any album that has Roxanne and Can't Stand Losing You have to be considered, right? Roxanne, one of those great heavier tracks, uh, really kind of set the stage for this band's uh, extraordinary career, I think one of the most listened to rock bands in history, still listen to. They still get over 90 million views on their site every day. That's, that's amazing, yeah. And some of the deeper cuts, Truth Hits Everybody, um, So Lonely, another fantastic track here. Yeah, just, just great album. A little bit rawer than some of their other stuff, I think. Not as refined, but simply an absolutely killer album. I don't see how you could not put this album in the list. As much as Synchronicity is a fantastic album, I just think uh, any album that has Roxanne on it's got to get a look at, you know, so there you go. So that's the opening one. The second album, of course, Regatta de Blanc is my favorite by these guys. Um, I just like the album cover. I like this kind of funny thing they got going on here at the back top of their heads too. So you got, uh, yeah, fantastic. These guys look like a rock band, really. Um, you got uh, Message in the Bottle, which is probably my favorite police song. I'm going to guess it is. It's definitely up there if it isn't. Uh, Walking on the Moon, another great track. This is kind of what I call uh, reggae on steroids here. Yeah, absolutely killer. Um, does everybody stare? Everyone stare? Yeah. They were, they were good at writing these songs that were very true but odd. There were odd views of it, way of looking at it, but uh, yeah, just absolutely killer track. Uh, walk, I never said that one. Doing, uh, do, um, Bring On The Night. This is a track that um, when I was younger, I loved it. I still like it a lot. It still has a, con a kind of a feel to it. I love that little guitar part there too that they do. It's fantastic. It's All Right With You, another great deep cut here. On Any Other Day, <laughs> another one of those quirky songs that just hits home when you, when you, it, it kind of, they kind of know where to, where to dig, you know, it's really good. Contact, this is a great tune as well. Like it's how albums just proliferate it with fantastic stuff. So that's number, the second one in the run. The third one in the run continues a great success. You've got Zenyatta Mondata, uh, of course, uh, those first, uh, Regatta de Blanc and Zenyatta Mondata. I always screw up the wording on this, uh, the spelling. I don't know what it is with me. I do that with Getty Lee's name too, and I'm not really sure why I do that, but I do. Uh, don't Stand So Close to Me, yep, another big hit for them. Um, when the world is running down, another one of those great deep cuts. 
Um, that's just real catchy as hell. You make the best of what's still around. That's got to be one of the longest titles in rock history, I think. Canary in a Coal Mine, of course. This is a deep cut song that every police fan knows and loves. Um, I think it's one of the... It gets it gets airplay as well, but I don't think it gets as much airplay as some of their bigger hits, but still a, a fantastic tune. Uh, Voices Inside My Head, good song. Bombs Away, another one of those deep cut songs that uh, absolutely killer. Kind of a bit of a heavy side to it. Do 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 da 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 da. Of course, that's another radio song that we all really much know. Man in a Suitcase, I uh, love that song. It's kind of a weird, another one of those weird tracks we're talking about. And then The Other Way of Stopping, another kind of strange tune as well, but really good. So this album, absolutely killer, makes the third album in the run. And then the final album in the run, I know I've done an episode of this on. Um, not what I hoped for. And even though I didn't get what I hoped for on this album, and you know, you can kind of think of it this way. You've got those first three albums, which are killer, and then this one has to compete against them. And I think this is a bit of an outlier in their discography. Doesn't really sound as much like The Police as their predecessors or even the Synchronicity album that came back. This is a little bit different. I know people have said this is more of a Sting solo album, and I believe some of them, I believe... Uh, Summers and Copeland both said that this is more of a Sting solo album, and they might be right. It, it's not a bad album, though. It's a good album. It's just not to the same level as the other four. But it gets here in the run because it comes fourth, and it has to get in here because it's good. You know, you know, you got some mysterious uh, spirits in the material world. Good solid tune. Every little thing she does is magic. One of their big hits, I think. It takes a little bit of feedback because of the the wording in it now that never used to get, but people are so polarized to notice every little politically incorrect thing they don't like now that it's that's what it's come to. Invisible Sun, this is another deep cut that I really like. Hungry for You, uh, Demolition Man, not bad. Uh, too Much Information, uh, Rehumanize Yourself, One Word, Not Three. This is very reggae-ish, I like this a lot. Omega Man's okay, Secret Journey, yeah, Darkness. So overall, this album isn't as strong as the other albums, but still a very good album. And even if Synchronicity didn't exist, I would still do this run because this album is still an album that I like. And it's kind of grown on me a little bit since I did the uh, uh, Not What I Hoped For episode. But yeah, excellent. So we got a, an excellent run here of albums by... An absolutely legendary band, The Police. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of my favorite four album runs. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell at the top. And any comments about any of the albums or anything I've said, really, you can put that in the comment section below. And we will see you next day with another... What's tomorrow? Is tomorrow the 7th? It must be, eh? Yep, 7th tomorrow, so we'll be back with, uh, no, today's the 7th, tomorrow we have a, tomorrow's the 8th, we'll be back with the 8th, uh, a legendary band that um, has a couple of album runs here, but we're going to do the first one tomorrow, so hope to see you then, take care and have a good one, bye.